Please note, we would like to make it very clear, we are totally against the form of discipline described in the articles and accounts being used on minors and non-consenting adults. Victims urged to talk to abuse detectives. Victims of abuse at children's homes in Staffordshire were today urged to come forward. An investigation into claims of sexual and physical abuse at children's homes across the county has been ongoing since 1999. Detective Chief Inspector Andy Dunning of Staffordshire Police is now appealing for anyone who has information on any incidents to come forward. He said the vast majority of the alleged offences were committed against children who attended the former Riverside Community Home School, Rochester, during the 1980s. The move comes after Thomas Watson, a 57-year-old former deputy headmaster of the school, was given a nine-month prison sentence suspended for 18 months yesterday. He was found guilty of two counts of committing cruelty to a child. Mr Dunning, who is leading the investigation, said, Staffordshire Police is committed to investigating historic allegations of abuse occurring within Staffordshire. The conviction of Thomas Watson serves to reinforce that commitment and determination to bring the perpetrators to justice. Staffordshire Police started the investigation into allegations of historic physical and sexual abuse at children's homes throughout Staffordshire in June 1999. Thomas Watson, of Meadowview, Burntwood worked at Riverside Community Home School, Rochester from 1979 to 1988. He became the deputy headmaster in 1986. Watson was found guilty of two counts of committing cruelty to a child in 1983 and was cleared of 11 other counts of causing actual bodily harm and cruelty to children. Watson had denied assaulting Darren Underhill, now a 33-year-old labourer in Stoke-on-Trent. Mr Underhill, who was 15 years old when he was sent to Riverside, had described a series of attacks to a jury at Stafford Crown Court. He said Watson had launched a viscous attack on him one evening after he refused to eat his dinner, smashing a plate over his head and ramming a table into his stomach. Sentencing judge John Shand said the fact Watson had been convicted on two separate counts meant he could not treat his actions as a lapse. He said, there was no reason for you to act as you did. You were in breach of your trust. In sentencing he said he took into account Watson's previous good character, his age and the fact the offences related back to the 1980s. The 17-strong police investigation team looking into allegations of abuse at children's homes is being run from an incident room at Stafford.